Right. She's almost dry. I could put another coat of the wash on the coat. So that's why it looks a little bit damp at the bottom because it hasn't fully dried yet but it's not going to stop or interfere with what I need to do with it so I'm not too worried. Now before we go any further with her let me just show you the scum mini. And there we are that's what we've done. Now the one thing I want to do is put a face in darkness at the top a little. Not on that much, just a little. So I'm going to take some of this blue. I'm going to take some of this colour. Just like so, a little more blue. And a spot of this flesh tone. I don't want this too strong, but let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Um, what I want to do is just, as I say, add a little bit of shadow along the top here. There we are. Just so <coughs> um, you can see it's a face is hidden. I'm just going to use a damp cloth and a damp brush rather and just smush it around a little. There we are. That will do fine. So I'll pop that to one side. We'll bring this one back and we'll cut. Oops. And we will continue with what we're doing. <clears throat> so, first off, I'm going to use a little bit of black. a little bit of this medium and I want to make it quite runny and we're going to go in here and make it just that little bit more dark it's acting more like a wash than I want it to well there we go and in there and go on along the inside of this to emphasize the shadows because this one because of the deep shadows we need to do something a little different than we normally would. There we are. Quite happy with that. I think that is it. There we are. And I'm going to run over the inside as well while we're at it just because there wouldn't be that shadow there that wouldn't be 
on the outside. Oh yeah. <coughs> right, that's that bit done. I'm not going to do any more <coughs> on the coat for the time being because I want to re-establish the colour of the flesh tone. Okay, so oh yeah. I was doing notes and cheek just like so. And again. It's got a chin. In fact, I'm going to add a little more of the skin colour there and take just a little bit of water up from the side of the pocket paper and we shall pick out the Mid tones on this fulsome pair of fun bags she has. A touch of white, I think, can go in there. There we go. And again. Tones on the legs as well. There we go. Quite happy about that. Next. <coughs> the leather. So I think what we'll do with this is get some white into it just to make it just a touch paler. And then we can make some attempt to go over these, what we call it, leather straps. Yeah. Let's just use the neat colour first of all and see if we can do anything with it. And we will try on this side, which if you remember is the bit where I decided to, um, well, I didn't decide, I accidentally caught the side of the pouch with the blue. Although, to be fair, I wasn't in too great a What's the word I'm looking for? I wasn't spending too great amount of time to make sure that I didn't go over it. I just didn't realise how bad this paint is to go over once it's down. But, oh well, not to worry, that's that bit done. <coughs> I'm now going to again emphasize 
this blue and we will go and make a point of going over all the raised areas bringing this blue colour back now bearing in mind that we have made this quite dark it's going to give it a real really lovely look when we start adding the highlights And they're going to really pop out. Oh, yeah. And again, everywhere where there's a raised area, we can go with this colour at the moment. we go that's nice and we are going to be um, what's the word I'm looking for Make, we are going to be making this a lot brighter before we finish with highlights and the like so don't worry if you feel as though it's still dark at this point Oops. And go. I have to remember of the, the um, issue that I have with positioning of these because the last thing I want to do is let me is for you to miss something because I'm just not pay paying much attention to what's going on on the uh, viewfinder but I will try my best to make sure that you don't miss anything and here I'm just going to go gently over these areas just to hit the raised parts Well, do I think? Nice. So we are going to look at her now, I think. And for that, we're going to add some corn red into the mix there we are and we'll put some of the doom ball brown in there as well now I'm going to try and do this not as a dry brush but Just trying to hit each individual strand of her with this colour rather than 
going over on the her. I want the recesses to stay the dark brownish colour. And the raised areas to be this red. We are. And I am attempting to add a little bit of just light to the top of the hair here. Oops. Oh, is that done? Next. <clears throat> the colour we used for the yellow part of the clothing. Now, again, we're looking at areas that don't seem to have much in the line of detail. So we'll just try and make our own detail with this. Now we do have Um, the ridges on this little skirt that she's wearing. And I also want to try, if I can, just to enhance these parts here. That's about it. There we are. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is going back into the fang, which if you remember is the one we use for the trim on the dress. And this time it's not the dress we are doing, we're going to be adding the occasional highlights to the boots. There we go. That's and that as well. And then just a little right toe. Mm -hmm. and then pick out where you see any creases. And there we are. Any creases and any little raised areas. All those need to be done. There we go. Next, we want a bit more white in this flash colour. There we are. And back to picking out details and highlights.
hands just like so making sure that the <laughs> raised areas that are going to hit get, get light actually it does get hit by light and that's what we're trying to do here sorry I was just trying to concentrate a little more the because of um, the fiddliness of the position of the mini a little bit more right here on the cheeks I think what I'm going to do is break my little golden rule because I can actually see the eyeballs Let's see if we can zoom in on this. reason why I don't do eyes. But I've done the effort has been there on that one. <laughs> ah. Okay, so back to highlighting and we will use some of the white. Into the fang. best just to make sure that this cool it seems um goes where it's meant to when you've got a shaky hand to do this that's one of the reasons I don't do eyes as well not the fact that it's not just because I can't really see them and it's also because I find incredibly difficult to do so with having shaky hands Oh, yeah. And 
And same over here as well. There we go. Now we're not going to go over these with the dark sky blue or whatever it's called. We're trying to avoid going over this colour now altogether. But we'll see what we can do. And speaking of the dark sky, over there, and the white is in there as well. Now what we need to do is try and pick out areas of light. That's that. Yeah, it's just simply a case of just trying to put little marks on where you can see the uh, the lighter touches of this colour. Oops. Now. This is going to be a bit of a pain to do because it's a small detailed area but we'll try our best to get it done. There we are. Now we can get this bit done as well now. Now don't try to get it to cover all of the previous colour. You need some of the previous colour to show through. Otherwise, this will not work. Oh, yep. Yeah. And. Oops. That is. this piece as well and then here Oops. Dee -dee 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 -dee. What we'll do we have got I think I might do a bit of a, a glaze with this in a moment tie these all together.